Good morning, Jungler Explorer here, <coughs> and uh, today I'm going to be uh, testing out this Campart T45 digital wildlife camera, or what I'd call a game cam camera or whatever. Um, I uh, have been using the Primos Truth Cams, the 35 and the uh, 46 for over 10 years <coughs> and they're great cameras um, I've left them out in the field sometimes over a year maybe two years um, just uh, I had a solar powered system that I custom invented for them and I could run them 24 hours a day all year long and capture uh, pictures they've captured umpteen gob hundreds of thousands of pictures but unfortunately after many years of using them they finally decided to start malfunctioning on me um, these were the best cameras I think probably were that were ever made and so I went on the search for um, some new cameras because these are no longer made no more obviously they're obsolete as you know digital technology goes um, and you know the, the really discouraging thing is is you go online and you know nowadays we look at reviews and I do a lot of product reviews myself and I do those reviews because I actually look at reviews when I'm looking at a product to buy and what's really distressing out there is when it comes to game cameras or you know wildlife cameras whatever you want to call them trail cams um, you just really can't find one that stands out I mean I don't care if it's from a brand name like Primos or Bushnell or Wildlife Innovation or some you know obscure name like Cam Park they all seem to have pretty bad reviews all around I mean I don't know what it is but it apparently they just can't make a decent game camera or people aren't using them right but uh, you really can't find a game camera anywhere for any price that has good reviews um, you know consistently like a, you know four star or something like that and um, you know so anyways I decided to go ahead with this Cam Park um, paid $59 for it. Um, it seemed like a, a good deal. It had a lot of reviews on it, so it seemed like a lot of people had used it. Um, and uh, I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to, you know, because I can't find any good reviews, I want to do this review to kind of show you how this thing works since I bought it. Um, anyways, it says that, you know, it's you got your standard stuff. It's a 14 megapixel digital wildlife camera. Well, the specs are on it somewhere on here. Okay, down here you know shoots in 1080p all these things really don't matter that much honestly um, you can look them up on the website I'm not gonna go through them um, all that's on on the the buy page uh, that's a waste of time because really the only thing that matters when it comes to a game camera is does it work and when I say does it work I mean if an animal walks in front of it is it gonna detect that animal is it gonna take a, a picture uh, day and night and and can you tell what that animal is that's really that all that matters um, you know I, I bought a blackout camera one time and uh, you know yeah it was blacked out because at night I couldn't see anything so you know I wasn't too impressed with that um, let me get the little camera out of the box here and uh, you know it's uh, hmm, a nice little camera Let's see not sure what these are uh, never seen those I mean that's the sensor that's the camera lens there's the not maybe that's some kind of extra sensing technology I don't know let me open it up here one thing about these new cameras is they all operate off of double-a batteries and I don't know I, I like these old big old cameras they operate off uh, four uh, D batteries D cell batteries <coughs> and that meant they were six volt and I created my own uh, solar backup uh, chart uh, power system for them They have a little uh, auxiliary uh, port in the bottom that allowed me to run them on solar so I'm gonna have to invent some new stuff because uh, let's see here uh, it shows here that it uses eight AA batteries when that means it's gonna be a 12 volt system so I'm gonna have to create a new 12 volt system to power this thing uh, that's kind of hard to get out but all right so uh, there's the battery compartment back here. Hmm. I guess there's a wire somewhere that goes between these two. Hmm. Okay. Uh, don't have the batteries on hand here, but uh, just kind of seeing what's got. Micro SD card goes here. It's got an AV. I guess uh, you can plug it into your TV with 
uh, audio video cables. It's got a USB out, micro USB here, and an on and off switch, and then your controls here. I'm not going to walk through that. Um, you know, there's it's pretty. Those things are pretty straightforward. You can figure them out. Let's see what else is in the box here. Get a drink of coffee. Okay, got a nice strap there. And this thing. Okay, never seen one of these before. Mm, okay, here we go. It's got a, a tripod mount on the bottom of it. Well, that's cool. So that goes in there. And I guess it mounts to something. Let me see what else is in the box here. It's got some screws. So there must be something to mount with screws. There's a cable. Okay, here we go. There's something underneath here. Okay, all right. So it's got this little plate. Use these little rinky-dink screws. Throw them away. I'll use some real wood screws. <laughs> you know, send these little tiny rinky-dink screws. And <laughs> oh, check this out. It's got sheetrock inserts. Oh my gosh. What I'm gonna put it inside the house? Yeah, that's what I want is a game camera stuck to my wall. Crazy. Sometimes I wonder if these people that put this package together knew, know what it's going to be used for. Anyway, so there's a little mountain plate there. and Wow, man, this is a hefty instruction manual. I bet it's written in 14 different languages, too. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see, here we go. Yeah, a bunch of different languages. And surprise, by sharing your experience, your experience. I don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. I guess it's an encouragement for me to give a review on the camera, which I'm doing right here. Okay. It better do good because I'm going to have video evidence of it, baby. You know, that's the great, great thing about my reviews is I'm going to show you what it does. So I'm going to load this sucker up. I'm going to put uh, some batteries in it and an SD card and I'm gonna go out into the field and put it by my deer feeder and that I know this got deer coming to it and pigs. Anyways, we'll get out in the field and put this up and hopefully we'll catch some footage of, them, of that those hogs coming back. Okay, so here I am at my feeder. You can see you got a lot going on here. Boy, they've been really tearing it up here. Here's my old Primo's Truth Cam here and uh, got my battery solar system anyways this is going to be the replacement for this um, so I'm going to mount it here um, let's see maybe I'll mount it over here on this tree yeah I think this will be better I'll mount it right here on this tree now I've got this little uh, pedestal that came with it I actually really like this pedestal um, if it'll if it'll hold it because well I've got rats around here cactus rats or what they call Texas blue rats and them suckers eat the straps off and the Sun eats the straps and I end up using wire most of the time so I'm just gonna take this off here and find a place to mount this want to be oh I think that'll be about right got my trusty Hitachi uh, saw here get my wood screws out out of my pocket I mean my not my Hitachi saw crazy my Hitachi driver man I've had this thing for over 10 years built barns and sheds and decks and remodeled houses with it this thing just keeps going just keeps on keeps on going so let's see try to find a flat place to mount this Got rid of them rinky dink screws that they sent from the factory. What a joke. Um, but you know, scientists or inventors make these things. But, you know, hunters, we know what we really need. What works in the field. Some good old wood screws. Alright, okay, so that's on. Boy, that's solid. Now, Slide that over that. Come on, 
get in there. Okay, now the question is, is are these things going to be solid? It kind of looks flimsy, but if it'll hold it in place, let me get my hand out of the way here. them suckers down. Eh. Oh, it's okay, it's turning on the pedestal. That's what it is. Can't have that. Check out my trusty Gerby multi-tool here and see if I can tighten it up a little bit. There we go. Not spinning. Now I've got this set to shoot both video and and three pictures. You can set it for video and pictures. Pictures are a little higher quality than the video, but now I've got her all set up, all programmed. And you got the off, on, and setup. Switch this all the way to on. Screen comes on. And it's ready to go. Time and date's all set. We'll see how that does. All right, get my drill. Come back here tomorrow and check it out. Okay, so you saw how I put it out, and uh, you know it's been sitting out there for a month now, and got oh, almost 700 pictures on it. I'm going to talk about its strength and and the few things that I didn't like about it, but that would not stop me from buying it again. Uh, the main thing is that the video and the the picture quality on it is really good for uh, a camera in this price range. It's not 4K video. You don't need that on a game cam. Um, what you need a game cam for is to see uh, the animals clearly enough to tell what they are, how big they are, and get the information you need. And it, and it definitely does that job well. Um, it, um, it just really didn't have a lot of false positives. So I didn't get thousands of useless pictures like I have with my other cameras in the past. Um, there was very few times that I actually had a false positive where it went off when there wasn't something in front of it. I had it set to high sensitivity, uh, so even like a sparrow flying in front of it would set it off, uh, or a dove or something like that. Uh, so it did pick up a few birds, but those are not false positives. Um, now, one thing I'm going to say right here is that um, one reason I don't get a lot of false positives is I do clear out all the trees and the grass and anything that could be waving in front of the camera that can set it off. You can't blame a camera for doing what it is designed to do, which is to pick up motion and, and uh, go off. So, um, you know, the way these things you, the, the sensors on these things, they detect differences in the field of vision. They're not detecting body heat. Uh, some people think that they detect body heat. They don't. What they do is they compare frames, one frame to the other, and if there's any difference in the field of vision, any change, like a branch moving or grass waving, it's going to go ahead and fire off. Uh, so if you put these out and you expect you put them out where there's tree branches and grass that are going to be waving in the wind in front of it, and you expect them not to pick that up, that's just not that's not rational. It's not reasonable. Uh, that's not how these things are designed. Uh, you would have to have an infrared or, uh, you know, um, like thermal imaging type camera that would only detect body heat to be able to do that, and that camera would cost thousands of dollars. So, um, you know, you're, you, this is a, a much uh, less reliable sensing um, technology, but it works if you don't have things moving in front of the camera. Like I said, I cleared mine out. My everything was cleared in front of there. Uh, of the feeder for about 40, 50 feet in front of it, and it didn't have that many false positives. So I ended up with approximately 700 pictures over the month, over the month, each one of them having some type of an animal in the picture frame. Um, now, it set out for a month, took about 700 pictures, and uh, I'm really impressed with the battery life on this because I, I really wasn't expecting that. Let me go ahead and, and uh, turn it on and uh, see if you can see it here the right down here is the little orange battery meter and it shows the batteries to be completely full now when I say 700 images that is 700 images 
three th uh, one three quarters of which are pictures and one quarter are which are videos the 30 second long videos um, and though so that's a lot of video footage several hundred 30 second video files um, and the battery has not gone down uh, so that's pretty good I was using the 1080p function it did really well really not a whole lot to dislike about the function it did well took good pictures the one thing that really kills me on this is, is actually the SD card location in this um, this is just crazy how they got that thing right there I mean it is almost impossible I've got I don't think I've got huge fingers but they're not small fingers now I can get that in there by pressing it and I can get that in it's a little bit difficult to get in but I can do it the problem is getting it out getting this card out is like you gotta pull it out like that okay a lot of times it gets hung up in there um, it's really made it's really in a tight place it should be somewhere else sometimes when it's up on a tree like that and you can't really see it here but uh, you're trying to get that card out of there and it just won't come out and then you have to pull down on it or something like that so that's kind of an irritating thing in the field because I had it down low and I had to get on my knees and try to get the card out that was a little irritating it doesn't mess with the function of the camera but it is uh, you know is something that this I wish they had it in a little more easier accessible location because I, I leave my cameras out and then I take another SD card out and I just swap them out I don't download the pictures in the field or anything um, so, uh, you know, that's just one thing that I didn't like. Um, the mounting system, as you saw, I had a little trouble with it. Uh, and I went ahead and left that in there. I know the video is going to run a little long is because of that. But I want you to see what it takes. Uh, my videos are about reality. They're not about promoting products. They're about saying, hey, here's a product I bought and here's how, what it did for me. And, uh, you know, you got to see what the, the struggles that I go through, which take a little time. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to give you the, the best impression of a person first getting a, a product out of a box and using it and what you might experience. Now, that mount per se, that little tripod mount, I really do like that thing. Even though it's a little flimsy, even though it took a lot of adjustment to get it set up, over the whole month I changed the card out three or four times. It was easy to work with. Um, once I got it pressed up against a tree, it stopped vibrating in the wind because um, I do have a lot of wind around here. And uh, I do like how it mounts. I can mount it on any solid object and it's solid. It's made out of steel. Um, no rat's going to come chew the cord in half or something like that. So I do like that little mounting system. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and go to some video and some photos here for you so that you can actually see how the camera performed. Okay, so I'm going to throw up the first deer that came to my feeder on the day that I put it out on January 9th. There's a picture of it. And now there's the video of that same deer because I had my camera set to shoot both uh, pictures and video. It takes three pictures first and then it takes a 30 second video. So now here is a picture of some pigs that came in that same night. And now here's a little video of that. Uh, full full nighttime video. You can see how good the video is at night. Um, and you can see into the de distance there a little bit. Okay. Um, here is a, a ni another nighttime picture. And you can see a deer in the background. It's about 30, 40 feet away. And here's a little video of that. So you can kind of see how, how far the video picks up. Okay, and here is a morning shot um, of the deer of a deer at the feeder early morning before the sun comes up. And uh, here is a little video of that deer walking around. And you know it does really good. I, I was really impressed with the quality of the of the actual video at night, the morning time. Everything seemed really good as far as quality wise and color balance. Um, now I'm going to show you a couple of videos. Now remember, I had my Primos old Primos camera there, and you know it actually came on at the same time as the other camera, obviously because it was picking up animals and it took a lot of pictures. And I'm going to show you some side by side samples. Um, here I'm going to post a video of from the the Cam Park camera 
when the LED, the uh, the infrared lights of the Primos turned on, they were much brighter, but they you do you don't see uh, the picture the video from the Primos was not very good. So let me show that to you. Okay, so we see here we see the pigs. You see the IR, I infrared lights from the Campark camera are showing it pretty good. And just in a minute, we're going to see the Primos infrared lights turn on. You see how bright that is, um, and it really lights it up. But I'm going to show you the video from the Primos and show you that it's actually not picking that, taking that good a video. So you see here uh, that even though it had a brighter infrared light, it's just you can barely even see the pigs. And remember, this is a very old camera, so you know it's uh, not, uh, it, it's just worn out. But it gives you an idea. Okay, this shot right here really is a, an important shot because if you look down at the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see a dove there. Um, and this was the first shot in the series. So this was that dove triggered the, the camera landing there. And look at the dove's wing. You can really tell a lot of detail about it. That means that uh, it was able to capture that dove actually landing in full motion and, and, and basically make it steal. And that really tells you about the quality of the camera that it, it you know a lot of times you get a lot of uh, blurry pictures but that's a fast moving dove with its wings landing and it stopped it in mid motion so that's a revealing photo right there so i'm just going to run some more videos here uh there's some little pigs that were there in the late afternoon and uh, just again just uh, note the quality of the video just really uh for a game camera and for the price of this one, just a little over $60, that's pretty good. Um, here's a cloudy day shot in late afternoon. This is a big old boar that came to the feeder at night. And some more little pigs at night. Uh, there you go, another another video of the uh, little pigs on a different day um, coming around. Just, uh, you know, it's pretty dark by that time of day. It's uh, 6 o'clock in December so the sun's already set and really picking up well there's a sow with some some pigs little little uh, fork maybe six point buck there a little video of that a nighttime video really turns out good you can see it really well okay um, there's a that nice deer in the daytime noontime late afternoon uh, my neighbor's dog came by Another deer shot here. A little uh, spike buck at night. And the pigs coming in the really late afternoon. Another deer in the distance there. A cloudy day. Big boar again. Yeah, I got several of that big boar. Video of the big boar. So. Let's see here. Another nighttime shot of a deer. A little fork buck. This one said, hey, I'm going to pose for the picture. And he's just standing there. There's a close-up video. This really allows you to see the detail that you get in this camera. Look at the hair follicles. Really good quality video for this price range of a game cam. Okay, so... Um, you know, I think I gave you enough samples of video and uh, pictures to, to, to sample it by. Um, I really like the little camera. It has a very fast um, sensor. You know, it picked up that dove landing. That was really impressive. It caught that picture still. You know, so for the price that we're paying for it, I mean, really, you really can't beat it. It's camouflage. has a, you know, a little metal mount thing. Uh, has a strap mount. Um, about the only complaint I have with this camera is where the SD card's mounted. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last, but I do like how it's functioned here. It feels well built. Um, it's gone through snow, uh, a blizzard, and, and a whole bunch of things. And the battery life just seems to be amazing on it. Um, you know, I really don't have any complaints about this camera right here. I know there's some bad reviews on it. I'm not sure if the people got a lemon. Or whatever but this one that I got here has been doing really good it's worked really good um, don't really have much to uh, complain about it um, so I'll let you decide for yourself I hope this review has been good helpful to you um, if it has please like subscribe and comment 
Um, also remember to uh, tick the little bell down there next to the like button. Uh, tick that bell so you'll be notified when I release new videos. Uh, also, all the products in this video um, that you've seen that I used, everything that you've seen in this video, this one right here, are going to be uh, listed in the description area under the video. Just click on the show more button if you're interested in a direct link to this product right here. Um, I hope uh, this help. This video has been helpful to you. Until next time, the Jungle Explorer signing out.